Welcome to the most epic experience you'll ever feel in the world. World, world, world. The creator of Cyber Church. The one and only God himself. Mark B. Julius. Hello. I am Mark B. Julius. Famed actor, singer, songwriter, cult leader, and Twitch extraordinaire. You know, a lot of stipulations have come from me using the term BBC, but it's, it just means big black cock. Does that is all? <laughs> Sometimes. Being the god is hard. You have to fight the dragons, the demons, sometimes the demon dragons, in the Strix. Nobody is concerned about the Strix. They're out there killing. There have been so many things I've conquered, but the one thing I can't conquer is love. Pure and unadulterated love. So I'm calling this Mysterious Minx. Her name is Kelly. We've been talking for mad crazy years, lifetime almost. Let's see what she says, cause I'm lonely. Hello, Kelly. Dude, I fucking blocked you. Stop fucking calling me. It is out there, but I cannot find it. Love, where are you, love? Love. Coco. Love. Love, yes? Me and Kelly, we hooked up at the club, okay? I got the number, I got the digits. But Kelly doesn't want to call me back, okay? So, I change my number every time. It's like cat and mouse, cat and mouse, cat and mouse. Cat and mouse with Kelly. But you know, I'm going to give Kelly up because last time she has called the authorities and they have to come to my house, okay? <laughs> <laughs> what if I told you I'm God? You are deluded. So here I am, Mark B. Julius, embarking to find that love on Tinder. <laughs> I'm so nervous. <laughs> there are a few things to know about me, you know? So, Basically, when God came down, he caught me in a really hard financial situation, you know. Uh, I live with my roommate, Steve. He's a great guy. Okay, I'm going to introduce you guys to my roommate. His name's Steve. Hi, Steve. Mark! Just what the- Okay. You fucking Jesus yes. wannabe? Why don't you fucking knock, Steve, dude? Why I'm sorry, don't you Steve. just fucking knock? I'm Why sorry, are you always trying Steve, to do the most, Steve. dude? Steve, we're on television. Okay, Steve, tell us a little bit about yourself. Mark, I'm fucking Steve, done. Steve, Steve, just stay, Steve. I'm fucking done, dude. Steve, please. You know what? You need to just stop coming to my fucking room. Steve, just please sit down. I will stop coming in your room, please. Just sit. Steve. You know, Steve, he's a really great guy. He's just, he's really cranky sometimes. He's so cranky. <laughs> Steve is really cranky. Sometimes Steve is violent. I have cults all over the world. Uh, I have a cult in LA, very popular, run by my bestest of friends, Schnitzel, okay? Okay, I've just dialed up my favorite and most honest supporter, Schnitzel. Schnitzel, great, it's a great guy. Super great guy, super honest, super, Schnitzel? Schnitzel? Schnitzel, can you show your face? Schnitzel? Please show your face. Schnitzel is a little bit shy sometimes. You know, he's a great guy. Little shy. Little on the shy end. But he's a great guy. Schnitzel, go in and show us your face. Schnitzel! Schnitzel! Show us your face! Show us your face! Schnitzel, what the fuck is that thing on your forehead? It is... a swastika. 
Whoa, didn't think Schnitzel was a Nazi. Kinda crazy. Good guy. Just don't condone Nazis. Sorry, Schnitzel. Schnitzel. Is he even really a Nazi? I mean, he didn't really complete the... The swastika. What the fuck? I'm going to get on Tinder. I'm going to get real crazy. Going to look for the boobies. Going to look for the double Ds, the BBCs, you know. Schnitzel, what do you think about this? I think that you should uh, date me. Schnitzel's great guy. Little on the weird side, but I think this is his charm. Schnitzel. His charm comes from him being a little on the, the weird side. It is so nice um, to be here. I believe in everything Max B does. If you want to start it in there, I can help you. Although, I will say that uh, you should date me instead. It is only fair. So every time I have an issue, I have to go to my therapist, Becky. Becky has been there with me through sick and sin. Becky is the rock to my paper. And no scissor can get in between us. Dr. Becky is here to help. Hi, Becky. Hello, Mark. Um, just a reminder, please don't call me by my first name. Okay, Dr. Becky. <laughs> We're very professional, our relationship. That's what I love about her. She keeps me on my toes. Life's hard, man. You know, even for God, even for God, life is hard. So you got to have a therapist. Becky, I have a question for you. I want to get on Tinder. I want to start dating. I want to get back on the pony. What do you think? No. I, I, I do not think that's a good idea. I'm strongly against that. I think um, you have a sort of God complex and you being on Tinder will help that. And you definitely will do harm to not only yourself, but the other people as well. Becky likes to play this cat and mouse thing. Cat and mouse. Too bad she doesn't know I'm a dog. <laughs> She's a cat. <laughs> I'll get you, Becky. I'll find out your number. <laughs> I'm just kidding, Becky. Not really. So, Dr. Becky, uh, at what point during the penetration do I say oopsies? Um, why would you say oops? So, the plan is to download the Tinder. Meet the women and go crazy, okay? I want to meet and I want to hook up. I want to say hi, send a little heart, send some hearts. Women love the hearts. And they love the pony. Maybe I can send the heart and the pony together. Who knows? So there I am, asking Steve, please, Steve, please, 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 please do a photo shoot with me. He finally gets up and says, if I pay him $500, he'll do a photo shoot. Feels that easy, Steve? <laughs> okay, basically, what I'm looking for as a photo shoot is expression mixed with depression. I want to bring a little bit the God out of me. Do you get what I'm saying, Steve? You are depression. No, Steve. Steve. You're doing that thing you do again, Steve? Where you're acting? Steve, I want you to bring the real Steve out. This is the real Steve. You're not bringing the real Steve out! Mark B. fucking Julius still wets his fucking bed. How sad is that? Every Saturday morning I wake up and go wash my laundry. Guess who's fucking bed sheets in there? Fucking Mark. I like Steve. Steve is great. He's just a little bit aggressive. Okay? He's so aggressive. There's something wrong with him. And I'm here to heal. I'm here to heal you, Steve. If you're watching this television, I'm here to heal you. I'm here to save you, Steve. Come, come to me, Steve. Steve, if you're on the television, come to me. Oh, Steve. Oh, Steve. Oh, 
you felt that Steve call me right now call me right now Steve please please call me so they're asking me if I like men women or everyone typically I like everyone I'm gonna be honest with you I'm a big fan of the BBC but I'm going to go for the double D today <laughs> show me the double D what a school did I go to you know what I went to God God school is that God God school is that a thing add God okay perfect added God easy now I just got to add some photos now I want you guys to check out the photos we've got <laughs> they're great photos They're going to love that. I decided to keep my bio a little bit simple, talk about the basics. Ah, I should have told them. God, if they don't swipe me, they will go to hell. Oh, that is so important. I forgot to. Oh my God. I think I'm in love. Oh my, I think I'm in love. This crazy person sent me five messages and has said die three times oh my god i'm in love will you meet me at the park there are certain things you have to do to prepare for a date everyone knows this okay everyone knows this you have to wear a tie you have to wear a suit. Come on guys, that's the basics of love. <laughs> How do you utilize the light? <laughs> I'm so bad. That is the price you pay for being God. <sighs> I'm so nervous. There are people waiting for me at the park. A woman, a lady, a mistress, a possible mistress. But sometimes after, you know, You've got to make sure you have your asshole waxed. Okay, trying to figure out how to... Okay, so this thing is working. Okay, so I had to go see Steve because this, this date is so tedious. So I need help, okay? So I'm going to go see him. Last time I startled him, so I don't want to startle him. Like I'm so oh, small. Oh, God. Ooh. Oh. What is hey, it? Hey, up? Oh hey, my god, hey, Steve. What did I tell you Steve. about knocking, Oh my god, dude. Steve, is that your genitalia? Dude, what did I tell you about knocking? Oh my god. Bro, what do you need? Well, I was wondering if you can wax my asshole. Get the fuck out of my I'm sorry, Steve. I'm sorry, Steve. Well. Now, Steve is packing some, some harder, some big artillery. I'm looking for love. And who's to say you can't find love on the interwebs? <laughs> I'm not. I'm not to say that. Because I think I found it. In the form of a big breasted woman. One who can show me the love in all the ways of the Oakland women. I think I'm ready. <laughs> I'm so giddy. <laughs> Like a freaking school child. <laughs> Look at me, you pee! <laughs> and there you have it. Mark Julia is scared of rejection. Scared of what she might say. Scared that I might be prettier than her. Hey, what's up? It's God. So I'm gonna go on this date, gonna meet this mystery woman. Make sure she's the white one. Not the white one, the right one. Because <laughs> uh, I do not care for the white colors. That is not my preference. I just want you all to know that I love the black women, the Asians. I love all that, okay? Maybe something will happen with me. Maybe I'll fall in love. Maybe it will be a forever thing. I mean, I'm cool with friends with benefits too. I think we all are. So I'm here at the park. We're waiting for the lovely lady. The people. 
They are looking at me like I'm God. It's because I am. I am God. What can I say? So I'll be waiting for her at the bench right here. Nice brown bench. What can you do? So, there are some things that, you know, you can't control. And sometimes that's people showing up. You know, I've waited approximately three minutes, so it's a lot of time. God can't wait. <laughs> God cannot wait. But it's okay. I move on, you know, the, the boat still sails. Still pretty. I'll never cry of a human. <gasps> Fuck. Who needs her? I don't. I'm God. Well, she better fucking not pray to me, okay? Because. Daddy won't be listening. It hurts. Being this sexy. As you can see.